Good morning. Welcome to today's morning meeting. I'm Greg Luther, the one guy that meets with you every single day to help you in growing your real estate business. And can't get this lighting right for some reason. I've got a new laptop, then a new webcam, then all this crap, and I hate technology. I'm sure you're the same way. So uh, anyway, we've got a cool topic today. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, expired homeowners. This is something we've utterly ignored for the last two or three years because, of course, everything was selling like crazy. Uh, so over the past couple of years with the market going way up, uh, people are getting literally 100000 They would overprice their house and then get 100000 more than that. Uh, that has ended. And unfortunately, the homeowners still think they're going to get a lot of money for their house. So we're seeing more expireds over a, a five-day period than we've seen over a five-month period in virtually every single market throughout the United States of America. So this has become a really good opportunity for you. A lot of agents aren't on to this yet because keep in mind, uh, you know, as the market starts to tank, it takes several months for those homes to expire because everything was selling in less than a day. So like if the market stopped today, it's going to be six months of slowdown, uh, you know, deflating a little bit, that type of thing before a lot of those listings come back up or show is expired. So I want you to think about this. A couple of things. Number one, what are you putting in front of expired homeowners that you can crank out on a consistent basis? Every day you can send to expireds or at least once a week you can send to expireds. What are you sending out? Because every day there's new ones that pop up. Second thing, what do you look like if what they receive is of interest and they Google you? If they Google you, and you look anything like that last realtor, anything like average, you are not going to get where you need to be with them. You're going, the uh, message falls flat. Really good message. They read it or they watched it or whatever. They were interested. They went to do their research and you fell flat. Fame is manufactured in America. So you have to get your Google search looking right. A lot of times we think either the sales letter worked or it didn't work. What if they actually checked you out and they didn't like what they saw? That could be the problem. Uh, we realized this over the last couple of years. We started using QR codes. Of course, you can send a postcard or a sales letter, have a QR code on there. One of the sales letters that we use with Inner Circle Coaching is that James letter. And the James letter is working really well because it's an awesome sales letter, but it has a QR code that goes to a video. So those that are interested, instead of needing to expose themselves to a salesperson like, hey, I'm thinking of selling my home. They don't really want to do that, but they will scan a QR code to watch a personal video from you. So we've had a lot of agents that said, Greg, I sent out 200 letters and I didn't get any response. Okay, let's go into the QR code. Let's see if any of them actually watched your video. They go in and they see that like literally 18 or 20 homeowners watched that video. So either the video fell flat the message, the call to action fell flat, or when they did their research of you online, they weren't very impressed with what they saw. You haven't been doing anything with press releases. You're not doing anything with all of the things to make your Google search look better so that they find what you want them to find. So that's one of your jobs here. As you push through the year, uh, over the next 12 months, I want you to really think about how can I build quality information that when people do have an interest or see my marketing or whatever, when they do their own due diligence, I come out with shining stars, right? They love what they see from me. So that's something you need to be thinking about here. If you are going to be working with expireds, which I highly recommend you do, it's back. Uh, you'll see inside Inner Circle Coaching, we're going to be talking a lot about uh, that being another niche that we can start to work again to really start making a lot of money. So I think you're going to find it incredibly helpful, uh, you know, and, and start thinking about, I mean, if you look at, say, the last two weeks in your MLS, look at how many homes have expired. And I can promise you it's going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger as we go forward here. So uh, hopefully you'll find it that uh, helpful for you. I'm going to work on my lighting and get everything right here. Uh, many of you know I got to spend a couple of days in Florida. We're going to be on the news and doing some things that way. Uh, and then uh, shopping for homes and all that. And then I'll be back here. So uh, I'm excited to um, bring some more information to you here, but start thinking about those expires. That's a really good way to go. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.